friends, I am so deep in the void right now. I am down the rabbit hole of looks maxing, and I don't know if I can ever get out. I'm starting to believe we really do live in a simulated universe because I am in the darkest corners of this, and I can't believe that this is real life. I, I'm 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 in I'm in the looks maxing matrix here, and and what I see disturbs me. It's it's a, it's an obsession for a lot of people. Ten days ago, I made that video, Beware of Jelking, where I focused on, like, the sillier aspects of looks maxing, though admittedly still dangerous, where a big part of looks maxing is about your wiener and being insufficient to sexually pleasure a woman, so they recommend jelking exercises, which is stretching the penis in dangerous ways that often cause irreversible damage. They'll have you beating your skin flute like it owes you money, fucking pretzeling your cock, sticking it in your own butt, and just doing these like weird accordion-like stretches on your meat that in a lot of cases destroy it in the process. And I was making a video kind of just talking about that and joking about it because jelking is something that I'm familiar with because it was an old internet meme and something I also tried when I was young, stupid, and desperate. But when I made that video just 10 days ago, I was at the surface level of looks maxing. I still had my water wingies on and I was above water, but now, brother, I'm a fucking seasoned veteran. I have seen some weird shit with looks maxing and I want to share a little bit of it with you. There is a complete hyperfixation on wiener size in a lot of looks maxing communities where they believe that that is everything and they spend every waking hour of their day doing all that they can to penis max like everything they can to stretch and contort or even drugs in some cases to increase the size in any way at all even just like a fucking millimeter they are doing and it's really sad because th that's like their whole life right now i found this youtube channel who for a while now has been posting content pretty much exclusively focused around dropping this arcane knowledge on how to increase your cock size. Like, just look at some of these. The best extender 4.0 is here, and then that doohickey looks like some kind of gadget that Wily e. Coyote would use to try and trap the Roadrunner, like a bear trap for it. And that's supposed to be something for your most sensitive area on the body? Like, my god, please, have mercy. And then he does, like, these interviews with people, so, like, how women react to giant penis. Like, his whole mentality is all about his cock. And, and it's, I don't know, like, this obsession from not only him, but, like, the comments is so baffling to me. So, you see that video right there? How porn stars blow massive loads? I decided to go to the comments and I saw this. I tried everything to blow bigger loads, kegels and supplements and drinking three or four big glasses of celery juice a day. Hydration helps, drink lots and lots of water. Outside of that, yeah, it's genetics. I've always been a dribbler, and I always wanted to fire rope after rope of semen just like Peter North did. I'm unfamiliar with the work of Peter North, but he speaks about him like he's the Babe Ruth of cum. Now there, was a guy, now there was a guy who nearly drowned some of his co-stars. He's probably been retired for 10 or 15 years now, but 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, that dude was the goat when it came to the old money shot. This dude's got an entire diet around increasing load volume. Why? It's not that important. I mean, I guess it's a cool thing to be able to do if you're fucking dumping DNA by the gallon, like, I guess? But it's really not important enough to start buying supplements for it Drinking four glasses of celery juice a day. This man's training like Rocky Balboa, but for cum. Like, brother, it's not that big of a deal. And neither is having an average size willy. Like, if your Johnson isn't pushing eight inches, it's not the end of the world like a lot of these looks maxing gurus are trying to scare you into thinking it is. It's not like you're going to be, you know, forced into a life of solitude and, you know, virginity because you have a five inch penis or whatever like that's not the case you need to play with the cards you're dealt like and buying into like supplements and the the <laughs> extender medieval torture device all that kind of shit it's highly unnecessary penis extender that i can use throughout the day without it interrupting any part of my day i wanted something that i can simply wear and forget about it i didn't want to feel it too much i didn't want it to bother me unfortunately there hasn't been anything like this on the market and if you're following me for long enough you realize that i tried so many different ways to rig my own device from using different materials together however since now i have the resources and i have the connections to be able to manufacture such device i present to you the new best all day stretcher right here now if you want to stretch and make your penis bigger in the most comfortable way this is it i guarantee you there's not going to be anything more comfortable than this holy shit a watcha it designed to stretch your penis all day 
just trying to fight for a couple millimeters, that is not a battle worth fighting. That is a war worth losing right there. Trying to claw a couple millimeters away from destiny, like trying to defy fate, it's not worth the agony and it's not worth the money for it either. It's just not that important. It really isn't. Though I can't help but giggle at the idea where you wear that strapped to your leg and connected to your schlong and just keep it on all day, constantly stretching. Throughout the video, he talks about how much force it can ex exert, like three to five pounds worth of force, depending on how much slack is in the cord. That's a lot. Like, that's that you're going to probably hurt yourself over time. No doubt in my mind about that. Also, when it's all day, does that mean you also take it, like, to work with you? So, like, you're just walking around the office in your long pants trying to conceal it? They don't know I'm stretch maxing. Or you're walking through Walmart just going to pick up some item, and the whole time your <laughs> cock is just being tugged on by the stretching device? Like, ugh. That's, ew, yucky. I, I hate to think about that. It's this fixation that people are being kind of pushed into with things like looks maxing becoming so popular where every single possible insecurity that anyone could ever have is being focused on and highlighted and put on this pedestal where it needs to be fixed. And the only way to fix it is through buying these things or watching these videos and supporting this person who's giving away this information when that is just not the case. It's leading to people just making themselves miserable all the time. Like I said in the last video, there's a couple of positive things about looks maxing on like a very basic level, such as telling people that it's good to brush your teeth, it's good to take a shower, it's good to like fix your hair or dress nice. That's all very positive general advice. That's basically just being a parent to people, to be honest. Like that's, that's not this level. This is where it gets dangerous, and it's really done by bad actors that are peddling shit to you to make money off of your insecurity that they are only exacerbating. It's just a horrible practice of keeping people miserable and always feeling insufficient so that way they're responsive and more susceptible to buying this kind of garbage or subscribing to the people that just keep feeding into this belief. And it, like I said in the last one, it must be really confusing growing up in this kind of landscape right now because it's so prevalent where you're getting told that, you know, getting laid is extremely important. And in order to get laid, you need to have a six figure income. You got to have hunter eyes. If you don't have hunter eyes, well, hope you enjoy no pussy for the rest of your life. You're, you know, you don't have a chance. Just all kinds of awful things. I could sit here and play a thousand looks maxing videos and shit on them but at the end of the day i actually just feel bad for the people who are constantly being fed that just being told all the reasons why they're ugly and the only ways to fix it are by following these guides or buying these courses or these products that's just fucking miserable and then what inevitably happens is you brainwash other people into following this path and it becomes like a cult a looks maxing cult where they've bought in and they will never come to terms with the reality that they've been scammed, pretty much. Or they just never realize that the things they have been peddled about, like how important, you know, the cancel tilt is or whatever, really don't matter that much at all. You don't need to be mewing 24 hours a day, mewing in your sleep, in order to get the perfect chiseled jawline, in order to lead a happy, successful life and have uh, a significant other. It's unnecessary and a lot of times in pretty much every case it's a bunch of baloney a bunch of hooey to begin with so it's just the, that's the reality of it i was shocked in all of my looks maxing deep dives i've done over the last 10 days to see how many people defend it that was the weirdest part to me and i really think it's because they've just bought into it and then feel trapped like they have to keep supporting it otherwise it was all for nothing but yeah i just had to rant about looks maxing a little bit i've spent too long in the rabbit hole to not talk about it a little further past the jelking video so yeah that's really about it see ya